All right. Let me give it a few seconds like I usually like to do just to make sure everybody can hear me and everything's fine. Um, hi to both of you over there in the comments and the uh, live comments thing there. Um, this won't be a real long live stream. I just wanted to share a number of things uh, that I thought were pretty interesting. Good afternoon. All right. Number of comments there. Okay. I'm going to go, go ahead and get started. Um, just some really weird. Uh, sounds good. Your sister. Um, hi to both of you there. Um, anyhow, <laughs> I want to get distracted here, but uh, because I need to stay focused on this thing because it's pretty interesting stuff. Um, my wife bought a, a used book. We get a lot of used books and things. People send us used books. We go to used bookstores. And she had this one, and it had a symbol on it for the um, presidential campaign thing uh, in 1980, 80, in, uh, 1980. Okay, right here is what the thing was. And look at that. Let's make America great again. I saw that and I thought, huh? <laughs> you know, she showed me that and said, make America great again? The whole MAGA thing, it was back then in 1980. I was, you know, five years old at the time. I didn't remember that, obviously. But uh, it's kind of a, huh? They're really weird that they actually had that same slogan back then. And, you know, um, bringing America back, prouder, stronger, better. Kind of weird, isn't it? Um but here's uh, Forbes. I'll play this. This is nine years ago. So this would have been, I guess, before Trump was president. But listen to this, what is said here. Well, to me, there's no contest. I mean, I think Ronald Reagan was one of the great presidents, period. Not so he's one of the, it's his favorite president, Ronald Reagan. Because, see, Ronald Reagan, if you understand, um, Right here, 1949 and uh, 1951, uh, Ronald Reagan is an actor. Donald Trump is an actor. Uh, they're getting ready to do some things. And, uh, of course, Ronald Reagan, if you don't know, I'm just going to share, you know, fill people in on this whole thing. Ronald Reagan, there he is at the, the Bohemian Grove, literally right at the foot of the big owl where they do the sacrifice thing, whether real or fake. Most people don't know, but it's... It's just ridiculous, this stuff here. Um, and interesting, too, that they are coming out with a Ronald Reagan movie this year. They're showing the thing. I'm not going to play the uh, thing from it or whatever, the trailer for it here. But I thought that was interesting. And uh, not to mention the fact that there was an assassination attempt made on Ronald Reagan. Hmm. Um, you can see it there. All the different stuff about it. 1981. Reagan assassination attempt. Pretty interesting. Um, but another thing that Ronald Reagan did was he was, a, I think, the very first president to invite the Pope to come here to America and um, was definitely a friend of the Roman Catholic Church. Hmm. And, uh, you know, how Donald Trump, how does Donald Trump compare to Ronald Reagan? BBC, or, you know, seven years ago. Interesting thing. So, yeah, it's this isn't really shocking information. Or, oh, no, whatever. But it just shows you the, the fakeness of the whole election process. And, you know, as for us, we're just, no, we're not having anything to do with it. Uh, the whole voting thing and whatever else, it's a scam. And like I said, I believe it's about submission. I believe it's about who can we... Can we see if we can really deceive these gullible Christians? And, you know, it, does it even matter? I mean, as a Christian, okay, if uh, Kamala Harris gets elected, selected as president, does it change our responsibilities as Christians, as, as being ambassadors for Jesus Christ? No, it doesn't. If Donald Trump gets selected, does it change what we're supposed to do as ambassadors for Jesus Christ? No, it doesn't. You see what I'm saying? It doesn't mean anything. Well, there could be more persecution under 
uh, Kamala Harris or whatever, well, then it would make the church stronger. Um, well, I think it'd be better under uh, Trump here. Well, then it would make the church weaker, make them more worldly. Think about it. Um, but I saw this was interesting, too. I saw this on somebody else's uh, video I was watching. And Kamala Harris takes questions from college students in the Tonight Show audience. This is four years ago. And uh, look right here. Fordham University. That's not staged or anything. No way. It's just random questions. You know, just a kid that's trying to, to learn to be a Jesuit. You know, it, it's just completely random. It's, they just picked him out of the crowd. <laughs> yeah, listen to what he asks, though. Hey, uh, oh, yeah, sure. Um, thanks for being here and taking my question. Um, do you believe in the mandatory buyback of quote unquote assault weapons and whether or not you do, how does that idea not go against fundamentally the second amendment? Yeah. So, um, great question. I do believe that we need to do buybacks and I'll tell you why. <laughs> Talk about the dumbest plan ever. Buy back people's assault weapons. Okay. Yeah. That wouldn't make much of a problem with the national debt that's continuing to grow all the time. You know, yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> I mean, I know guys that literally have, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars in their quote unquote assault weapons. How's the government going to finance all that? Go around, uh, you know, oh, here's your check for, you know, $250,000 for the guns that you have, and just we'll put them in the truck and haul them off someplace. Or just see what these people do. If you haven't figured it all out, this is all just Hollywood, okay? Um, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Please understand that. All this stuff, it's just Hollywood, right? They're all actors. They're all part of the big, you know, it's just the uh, big pharma and big uh, oil and, you know, the arms industry and, you know, and military industrial complex. These people just act for them. And they come up with this stuff to scare you, you know, and they, people, oh, we have to elect Donald Trump because Kamala Harris is going to buy our assault weapons, mandatory assault, you know, weapons buybacks. No, <laughs> you know, oh, we have to, we have to elect Trump because he'll make America great again. Uh, where's the thing at? He'll, you know, he'll make it prouder, stronger, better. It's, it's, you know, let's make America great again. See? You know, people, oh, so we just have to do all this stuff. <laughs> it's just, come on. Okay, get back to work, brethren. Read your King James Bible. Pray, you know, pray for those in authority. It doesn't matter who it is, that we may lead a quiet and peaceful life. Okay, uh, don't get excited about it. It doesn't matter who wins. There is no, you know, whoever wins, we lose. <laughs> you know, America loses. All right. Um so uh not going to do a, like i said can't do a real long live stream i'm uploading a video or uh, two videos i did this morning a little walk and talk thing at a new location so uh just been taking some time off here recently because of um my son oliver his birthday was two days ago so he's 10 years old now and so uh we were taking you know we just going different places and things um, places where he wanted to go we still have a couple of different places to go to um, today it was raining so we couldn't go today so yeah um but uh so anyhow that is going to be it um for now uh, i do have a couple of doctrinal studies i have some things here i'll show you them real quickly there they are okay i don't want to give away the surprise of some of the studies i'm working on have some sermon notes done. Um, again, you know, please pray for us because it's it, it's very taxing and things. You know, the ministry as it grows, um, there's a lot of work that goes into it. And uh, so, um, but I guess that will be it. Like I said, I'm not going to do a real long live stream. So um, I just thank you to all my faithful supporters out there, loyal viewers whole thing and uh that's going to be it i guess so thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in future videos